Hi, I'm Yara Ahmed and I'm a reporter with PBS NewsHour's Student Reporting Labs. Nearly 3 million Americans have tested positive for the coronavirus, and those who haven't been tested wonder if they've been exposed to SARS-CoV-2 and whether they may have developed defenses against it. Those defenses, known as antibodies, may be the next step in our fight against the coronavirus. Dr. Elliot Bennett Guerrero is leading a research study on COVID-19 at Stony Brook University in New York. He is giving plasma to sick COVID patients from those who have recovered. Dr. Elliot Bennett Guerrero, welcome to Ask the Scientist. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Dr. Bennett Guerrero, can you first start out by explaining what antibodies are? So the human body has an amazing ability to fight infection. And one of the ways that it does that is by producing antibodies, things that can uh, block or kill uh, bacteria or viruses. And so uh, one of the things that we're doing in this uh, convalescent plasma trial is removing antibodies uh, from patients who have recovered fully from COVID infection and then um, infusing them into patients who are sick with COVID in the hospital in the hope that we can save some of these patients' lives. Can you talk about how it's been like to treat COVID patients? So I just finished uh, seven days in a row working in one of the COVID ICUs at Stony Brook. And in my 25 years working in the ICU, I've never seen so many sick, uh, horrible cases, uh, uh, you know, in my career. I mean, the patients are just so sick. Uh, we know that COVID does not cause serious disease in some people, but in the people who are severely affected, it's just a horrible, horrible disease with uh, massive, massive lung injury, which uh, takes weeks or months to recover, if at all. What advice do you have for those going into the sciences? I think uh, the advice that I'd give people starting out in their careers is to work very hard, uh, to focus, uh, to find good mentors who can help you to learn how to become a good clinician, to learn how to become a good scientist, and then just keep working hard your whole career. Uh, I still learn things every day. When I work in an ICU, every day there are 20 new things that I wanna go look up. When I'm doing research, I'm constantly learning new things. And so the advice I'd give to people is to never stop learning, always keep, um, keep that open mind.